Well, hello there. We're back, sorta. <laughs> Here we are on August 3rd, 2018. It's 9.04 p.m. now up here in northeastern Ohio. And I really had to adjust my position for Venus. It's uh, pretty low in the sky over there in the west. I had to move about, oh, a good 15, 20 feet from my position that I was in the last time I got it, which was, what, a week ago? And that's where I had been getting it for days and weeks on end, so I'm just a bit surprised it's so low in the sky. I thought I'd be up higher, but anyway. Okay, so here's our half moon planet, comet planet, sister planet, wandering star, whatever you want to call it change up a few settings though and that's the best uh, we can get it in and focus wise I uh, sure wish I could get it more clearly but that's gonna be it oh wow and I do see Jupiter let me get in my usual spot before I say anything <laughs> Let's take a trip over here. Okay, so this is where I have been setting up a few feet away from that weather station. And Venus is over there low behind that tree. And Jupiter is over in the southwest, pretty high up. Anyway, let's go take a look at Jupiter. And we see the stars of Libra there, down to its lower left. Double star system down there of a name I can't pronounce. <laughs> and so we have two leading the way, Jupiter, and then the two at an angle, bringing up the rear. So those moons are coming out pretty good. I didn't get any footage today during the day because we had those silvery gray skies all day blocking everything out. The sun did pop out probably about uh, 6 p.m. Finally broke through, but, but the sky is still pretty hazy here. So these planets aren't going to come in the best. But at least we do get to see the bands. And I don't have that 2x converter on here, so well, let me see. There's no wind, but it looks like it's bobbing around up there. That could just be the rig set up. I'll watch it go down again, and I will go in search of Saturn. Mars is probably stuck low on the horizon below the trees, and I'm sure Saturn's ducking trees too right now. <laughs> but anyway, we had uh, Venus over in the west. Here we have Jupiter in the southwest, pretty high up. And again, Venus is low. And Saturn should be in the southeast somewhere. Probably behind a willow tree. And let's move around a bit and see if we can find Saturn. And there it is. It should be it. Boy, it's lower in the sky than I thought it would be too. Do you see it? Right down there. So there we go with our ring one. It ticks me off I haven't been able to track the uh, planets and moons and stuff for about a week because when I miss so many days uh, it's hard for me to judge if they should be higher in the sky or or where they should be and again still no wind blowing but we're getting a bit of drifting bobbing of the planet 
which is probably just because the lens is extended so far. I'm guessing. Who knows, though? <laughs> and I'm about 99% sure I won't get the moon. The moon tonight will be about 55% lit. But it won't get above my trees until about 1.30 in the morning tomorrow, so... <laughs> That's getting a bit late for me. But I don't know if anything unusual is going to pop up. Uh, those are pretty rare occurrences, so... But hey, you never know. We'll go in and check the footage. Oh, by the way, we did double check that moon going backwards thing. And... I was so sure that there was no slippage of the equipment or the rig, but by checking the zoomed out version, the one that had the trees in it and jumping ahead, like every five seconds you could tell that the rig was slipping, something was. I don't know if it was the uh, video head or what, but, and I couldn't see it by uh, watching it in regular speed. But not until you start jumping ahead five seconds, then you can actually see it moving down, down, down. So, so yeah, FPV Angel, he also checked it with some tracking software, and we could see it was an equipment malfunction. <laughs> that sure was trippy, though. It's just never happened to me before, um, after all these years of filming and so it took me by surprise so it wasn't the moon going backwards or anything anyway okay that's good enough for, for this part and boy oh boy I didn't think I'd be able to get it but down there is the orange guy well I'm quite pleased about this because I thought we were going to get shut out of Mars tonight, but there it is. Oh, I do wish I could get it in better, but I have to keep reminding myself this is not a telescope. <laughs> and we're on the 10x digital zoom. We'll try to crop zoom this to get it in a bit bigger. And I'll call that our brother planet. So we have a sister planet in Venus and a brother planet in Mars. So we can see where it is over in the southeast and down low there. And then right up there it's uh, Saturn. Even though I had moved to the other side of the tree to get it before. So there they are. Let me get some pictures. And just so we know, the only things I can see by eye are these uh, three planets. I can't see Venus right now because of the house and the tree in a way. Probably dip down below them. And I'll say goodnight to y'all. I hope everybody has a great weekend ahead and has a lot better viewing than I've had over here over the past week. <laughs> but anyway, y'all take care now. Bye.